Good evening and welcome to uh, Covenant Reflection on the Rock. It's Monday evening and um, again this um, month Anne and I are sharing some things that have struck us deeply from the writer Joyce Rupp. And in coming months we'll share some other of our favourite um, spiritual resources. We don't always have to get our spiritual writers um, from hard copy books. In fact, I'm one of those people that firmly believes you can have too many books. Unlike my husband, who doesn't think you can have too many books. However, you can find um, Joyce Rupp online in many ways, but the way I have um, chosen to reflect with her tonight is from her annual newsletter, uh, not annual, monthly, monthly newsletter. And here's what she says for October. And it has just lifted my soul um, in great ways. It comes to my inbox um, on email once a month. It's a little bit long, so Bear with me. These are Joyce Rupp's words. Hope is usually at the center of my heart, but that was not the case a few weeks ago. I felt disheartened and wondered if anything would ever change regarding the damaging issues burdening humanity and our planet. My discouragement began one morning with a woman sitting on a park bench fully engaged with her phone while her unleashed dog chased young herons and ducks in the lake. I spoke to her and explained how this distressed the waterfowl and that they had very few places to be safe. She just smiled and said, oh, I see, and went right back to her phone. The next day, as I neared the apartment building, I met a man carrying cardboard boxes to the dumpster. I suggested he might want to use the recycling dumpster on the other side of the apartment building. He replied, okay, but went right over and popped the boxes in the garbage dumpster. The next day, I was out for a walk when a man ahead of me stopped, looked down intently and stomped on a grasshopper. I held back this time from reminding him that he was in the insect's home and needed to respect its life. The final blow to my hope involved the news a day later when I listened to the volatile rhetoric and scary threats made by parents who yelled at a school board that was struggling to make a good decision regarding mask mandates. Today, Joyce goes on, I am fortunately in a different emotional space. How did hope return? Well, first I went to the recycling dumpster with some items and noticed that it was half full. Yes, there are others who care about our planet, I thought, and immediately recognized the strength of kinship. Then I read the chapter, Why We Don't Quit, in Kathleen Dean Moore's latest book, Earth's Wild Music. This revived my desire to stay the course with determination. Finally, I came across a familiar verse in scripture and allowed it to touch my heart. Come to me, all you who are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. What perfect timing. Of course, this gift is waiting for all of us, whatever our need and burdens might be. I can imagine this compassionate being saying this following to any of us. Come to me, all of you, who live with uncertainty and insecurity about what the future might bring, who bear sorrow that shreds your heart into ribbons of sadness 
who carry memories of trauma that nag at you and still cause pain, who worry about a loved one's serious illness, who find it hard to believe you are worthy and valuable just as you are. You who are caught in addictions that eat away at your life and taunt your efforts to cease. You who know the diminishments accompanying your later years in life. Who doubt that our world will ever be a place of peacefulness for all people. Who feel like giving up hope and want to put trying to have a planet filled with compassionate care and harmony and quit. Come, come to me and find your rest, your peace. I have never left you. Even when you have tried to go on without me, even when you forgot my promise to never put you out of my heart, come. Come to me. I am here for you. Rest your burdens, your weariness, and woe on the strengthening love I have for you. Come, come to me. May you each find rest for whatever burdens or wearies you. Abundant peace, Joyce Rupp. That's a flavor of her poetic and very real life struggles that she shares with us. And that's what makes her um, one of my favorites. So I echo her words for all of you tonight. May you find rest for whatever burdens or wearies you. Good night.